Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Yarn Talk. This is Rhonda with J'adore Le Crochet. I hope you guys are having a super fantastic Sunday afternoon. I am doing absolutely fabulous. I thank you for joining me today, and I thank you for taking the time out to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you for helping me to grow my presence on YouTube. If you know anyone that's interested in plus size crochet garments that are trendy, that are fashionable, and that can be made to fit the plus size woman, then please share my channel with them and so they can subscribe and get uh, the updates as well. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a standard V-neck poncho using two rectangles, okay, and what measurements you would need in order to create your own poncho. So this poncho here that I have on my mannequin is a free pattern that is available on lionbrand.com and it's from Curvy Girl Crochet. It's called the Intertwined Poncho and I will put a link for that pattern in the description box below. But it comes from Mary Beth Temple's book, Curvy Girl Crochet. So if you have this book, then you have the poncho, the pattern for the poncho um, that's on my mannequin, okay? But you don't need a pattern if you know how to measure yourself to create your own. And I am going to share with you what measurements you need in order to create your own poncho from two rectangles, okay? And that is what this is. It's simple. It's very, very simple, even though it has the cables, which makes it an intermediate pattern because it's done with cables. But of course, you don't have to do cables on yours. You can come up with your own stitch pattern as long as you know what measurements you need. So, what measurements do you need in order to create these two rectangles for this poncho? You need the width measurement. The width measurement is from your shoulder. And let me, you need to measure your shoulder from here to here where you want it to stop on your arm, okay? So if you want this to go from shoulder to elbow, that is your width measurement. You're gonna need that measurement Okay, so from your shoulder to your elbow or longer, however wide you want this side, this portion of the poncho to be. The second measurement that you're going to need for your rectangle would be your length measurement. And that's going to be from the back portion where you want the V to open, okay, where that V is going to begin across your shoulder across the front of your body to your waistline, okay? So from your waist to the midsection of your upper back where you want the V to begin at, okay? So the measurements for this particular poncho is 20 inches wide by 33 inches long, okay? That's all you need to know is how big do I need to make that rectangle, and that's it, okay? Your length from shoulder to elbow and then from the center of your back to the uh, center of your waist, to where your waist is, okay? So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to put this one on so you can see how this one looks with these measurements on me, okay? All right, so here we go. Let me move my mannequin up. This is this poncho on me, as you can see, from my shoulder to my elbow. That's 20 inches from here to here, 20 inches, okay? And then from this V, from the back, across to my waist. And see how wide that is, that length there? That's the second measurement, okay? That's how you want to measure your two rectangles. Very simple, very easy, and you can have yourself a very cute 
poncho, okay? Now, some people might want it to come lower on their arm, so you just simply make it wider, okay? And that's what I wanted to show you, is how you wanted this to fit for yourself, okay? If you have any further questions on how to create the standard V-neck poncho from two rectangles, let me know. Now, oh, I do want to include in this, when you're joining your rectangles together, it's really, really simple. You're going to do the short side or the width side to the length side of the opposite triangle. I'm sorry, opposite rectangle. Okay? So, here is the width side of the first rectangle. It's attached to the length side of the other rectangle in the front. And then the same thing in the back. This is the width side of the second triangle attached to the length side of the first one, okay? So you have two seams that you have to do once you create the rectangles. Join those two seams together, and bam, there you go, poncho. That's it, okay? So thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be about the um, poncho top that I created and how you go about creating your own. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Have an awesome day and God bless.